Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How much capital gains can I offset with losses? Capital gains arise when you sell an asset for more than its purchase price. These gains can be short-term or long-term, depending on the holding period. Short-term gains are taxed at ordinary income rates. Long-term gains generally benefit from lower tax rates. When you incur losses on investments, these can be used to offset your capital gains, reducing your taxable income. This process is known as tax loss harvesting. If your losses exceed your gains, the IRS allows you to use the excess losses to offset other types of income. The maximum amount you can deduct from ordinary income is $3,000 per year for individuals and married couples filing jointly. If your total net capital loss is more than this limit, you can carry forward the unused part to future years. It's crucial to keep accurate records of all transactions, including purchase and sale dates, amounts, and types of assets. This documentation will support your claims during tax filing. Consulting a tax professional can provide personalized guidance based on your financial situation. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.